and from DPL Surveillance Equipment. Uh, we're a full service uh, surveillance and security equipment company. We have lifetime guarantees and warranties on all the products. We have 24-7, 365 tech sales and customer support. Um, we have perhaps the largest inventory of items that not only can you buy, but you can rent. You can also rent and, and lay away as well. Uh, Carolyn, you want to say anything about that? About the company? Oh, yeah. We've been around for like 20 years. And uh, like Monty said, we're a full-service surveillance and equipment company. We try to cater to um, all sorts of people. And uh, what about the website? We just spent a lot of time and money on the website, right? Yes, we did. It looks really upgraded, very nice and shiny. Okay, so uh, enough about the, the company, uh, or at least the website. Today we have a rather somber subject uh, reg regarding the suicide rate. It seems to be like an, an increase in the suicide rate according to last year's numbers. What do you think about that? I didn't realize all this till it's been happening lately in the news. Well... So two prominent figures were what Anthony Bourdain and Kathy Spade yeah they I guess they focus a lot of light on um, yeah. how even successful people uh, have issues where they can't find any resolution and they ultimately end up taking their lives right yep a lot of younger people have been doing it also like people from the deadliest catch right so it seems like uh all across the spectrum, there's a, there are a lot of people who are exhibiting the signs, but it's taking a lot of effort in order to find out what those signs are. Or sometimes they don't exhibit the signs. Right, but what are some of the signs that you think, uh, or, or that you know that the scientists are looking at and learning about as far as the, that, that may indicate that a person has a problem? mental illness first of all second of all a divorce separation in the age groups that are more vulnerable money problems right money problems any age groups that are more vulnerable than others yeah 49 to 60 or 70 right so um, remember you guys um, if you know of people within that what I think it's actually 45 to 64 roughly age group for men and women and men seem to be more vulnerable, but you may want to keep in mind that if you're within that age group, you're probably going to be struggling a little bit more so than others as far as how to deal with uh, life's issues. Again, it doesn't matter whether or not you're a celebrity or not. Uh, it, it seems to be uh, happening across the board. Some of the other things, some of the other signs, for instance, that scientists are, dis are, are discovering is that um, when you um, stay awake really late at night or early in the morning and you're pondering and you're thinking um, that typically foreshadows that you're, 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 you have issues that you're dealing with and unfortunately after so much loss of sleep for instance you become a lot more um, vulnerable to suicidal thoughts what do you think about that? I guess no, I guess it could happen right so there, uh, there's a lot of emphasis being put on, you know, um, getting a, a lot of rest, getting the appropriate amount of rest, and, uh, you know, using sleep aids if you need to, melatonin, um, kava, valerian root, kava kava. kava kava. There's a number of natural sleep aids. So remember, you guys, it, it's okay to be an ambitious, hardworking person and all that, but you, you do have to make sure you get a sufficient amount of rest otherwise your brain and everything goes into overdrive and then you have a problem actually dealing with life's own issues so that could be very counterproductive some of the other things as um, that are more obvious and more common but overlooked is simple things such as word associations uh, groups of people for instance um, were asked in a focus group about certain words when you hear the word death and uh, other words do you typically associate that with 
you know, living or, or, or not or, or just the different words that you utter uh, in relation to words that are given to you, that indicates your present state of mind. So um, be careful about the words you use and how you may respond with these word association tests, for instance. Um, a number of things. Um, isolation. Your isolation. Cortisone levels seem to be lower. I think they were saying they were lower in people who, uh, when, they, when they encounter stressful conditions or situations, those people typically have lower cortisone levels. I think that was what they said as compared to higher cortisone levels, which unless I'm getting it backwards, uh, allow you to deal more effectively with stress. And as Carolyn mentioned, um, your economic or financial situation might be, um, might not be optimal. You may be in a situation where you're trying to figure out how to pay your bills, when you're going to get a job, are you going to be able to benefit from all the money you pay with that college education. Um, people are typically overwhelmed in those situations. So um, those people are very vulnerable um, as well. So now we, 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 we don't want to say Bitcoin is a cure-all for everything, but I just want to let you guys know the Bitcoin and the Bitcoin community seems to be liberating a lot of people from the, the shackles of the, the traditional financial system whereby you're financially oppressed and you can't um, earn a good living because of the way the fiat currency has been debased and devalued so much. But in the Bitcoin community, uh, we've noticed that um, a lot of us are doing a lot better, mainly because the way the Bitcoin functions. Right, Carolyn? Yeah, you don't have to have to worry about the banks sending you statements, all your mortgages uh, up out on the street all these threatening letters and right in addition to that the Bitcoin see in Bitcoin we actually have a community of people there are a lot of people who are spurring each other on in other words when you put together your YouTube when you put together your Bitcoin um, meetup or you go to a Bitcoin meetup those people are typically um, they want to support each other. So remember, in the Bitcoin community, we all network together. We all support each other. We all rallying for a certain cause. So there's a great sense of community in, in the Bitcoin ecosystem. So that may help a lot of people, actually, as you strive towards financial independence and liberate yourself from what's going on with the, with, with the, uh, the t traditional uh, economic system. So anyway, we're going to we don't want to prolong this one too much. There's some very extensive articles that I'm going to associate with this particular topic. So you can clearly see uh, what the scientific community is doing and how celebrities also uh, have been affected and, and, and some of the telltale signs that were exhibited with uh, Anthony Bourdain and Kate Spade. Um, so you can be on the lookout and, and, if, and if you're involved personally yourself, you can also uh, try and, 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 and look at your own situation to see whether or not there's anything going on there. Any last words, Carolyn? Uh, thank you for listening. And, you know, this is becoming a, a more important subject every day. So, thank you for listening. Okay, so we're in the car doing a podcast. And so a little bit of background noise, but we wanted to get this uh, podcast out there. So, you guys... Um, Stay safe, and uh, we look forward to uh, uh, getting your feedback and, and, and letting us know what you think about this topic. Have a good day. Thank you. Take care. Bye.